Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Airtable for Land Investors. My name is Paul Brewer, and I will be your host for the next videos. So glad you could join us. So this is going to be the intro and setup for uh, Airtable and how we use it in the uh, land investing uh, space. So uh, if you're like me, um, when you start your land investing business, you were tracking all of the information, all of your leads, all of your contacts, uh, all of your properties um, in a bunch of different places. You pen to paper on a spreadsheet uh, across multiple devices. And if you're like me, you were probably getting lost in uh, trying to keep track of everything and uh, probably never had the information you needed uh, right when you needed it. So um, I started searching around trying to figure out a way that I could get as much information as possible into one centralized location. I uh, started with an Excel spreadsheet, didn't like that, and then heard about this wonderful application called Airtable. Then I started watching some videos through the school of YouTube and kind of figured out a way to make a Airtable base for the land investing space. So this is what uh, came out of it is this uh, base, which is going to allow us to track our properties. Uh, and uh, it integrates very nicely with Zapier so that we can, uh, with one click, send an email to our VAs so that they can actually start working on specific tasks uh, through the life cycle of a, a property. Uh, so let's dive in and uh, kind of get you all set up so that uh, you can follow along in the rest of the series. Now, first thing you're going to need to do is head over to Airtable.com. And you're going to need to sign up for an account if you don't have one already. Very simple. Just put your email address in here and hit get started and it'll walk you through the process. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you. you uh, the cool thing about Airtable is you really only need the free version uh, for this base. However, there are a couple of different paid versions that you can eventually upgrade to. I am using the pro version so that I can at the end show you some of the cool things that you can add on as your business starts to scale, but you only need this free version here. Another one that you're going to want to pay attention to is this number here, this uh, 1200 uh, records per base. As your uh, business starts to grow, this might, um, you need to keep tracking this number and you might need to actually upgrade to a paid version at some point. Um, you never know. Hopefully your business scales and you do. That's a good thing. Okay, so let me go ahead and pause this video. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account and we'll get started. Okay, once you are all signed in, um, yours is going to look slightly different than mine. All these uh, what are called bases here will not be there. You'll just have something that says add workspace. Now what uh, a workspace is, is basically like the sandbox that you're going to be playing in. And uh, the bases are like the toys in the sandbox for you to mess with, right? Uh, so first thing you're going to want to do is come over here to create or excuse me, add a workspace. So uh, for the purposes of this, you're going to, let's go, um, let me say a land demo. All right, there's our workspace. Go ahead and hit enter. Okay, it's going to set up your workspace for you. So there's your sandbox to play. Now, the next thing you need to do is get uh, the base added into there. Now, there's a few different ways you can do that. Uh, you click the plus button and it gives you three options here. Start with a template, import, spreadsheet. If you had some kind of an Excel spreadsheet you want to put in, you can do that or start from scratch. We are going to go a different route. Okay, those who create bases that they want to share with the world, they publish them in a place called the Airtable universe here. Okay. I've published a couple of bases to the universe, and the funny thing about Airtable is they only publish bases that they deem uh, useful for the community at large. And since I've already um, published a couple of versions of Airtable for land investors, the current one they didn't publish. Uh, so you have to go about this like a slightly different way for you guys. Um, they, some people say they can find it, some people say they can't. So that's why we put the link in the description so you can get the right base. I'll go ahead and pull it up for you so you can see what it looks like. Okay, when you hit that link, you should be taken to this guy right here, and it should come up, and it should look a lot like this for you, okay? Now, um, all you have to do once you get here is hit Copy Base. It's going to ask you where you want to put that, and you're going to select your workspace that you want to add that to, and you're going to hit Add Base, and voila, there you go. You have it all set up. Uh, I highly recommend you kind of play around uh, with some of the settings and things in here uh, before we move on uh, to the next video. So you kind of have an idea of what Airtable looks like. Go ahead and open up this base and kind of look at all the tabs that go across the top. We're going to be explaining how all of that works together and what it all does in the next few videos. 
All right, guys. Thanks for uh, staying with us for this video, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great rest of the day.